He was a dog that made people happy. He inspired people. He always had that glow about him, like he was smiling, and they could, people could see happiness in him. And even though he was, you know, born different, without eyes, with that type of disability, you know, he was still able to give back. We really um, focused on working with children. Um, we would visit classrooms at schools um, and teach the kids about being born different. You'll remember Smiley, the blind therapy dog that won the hearts of people around the globe. Smiley passed away last October, but now his legacy of spreading joy will live on. Because this is Sonny, and he's a 15-week-old retriever cross, and just like Smiley, he too was born without any eyes. Smiley's family has adopted him now, and one day he too will become a therapy dog. Hey, Sonny. You know, sharing the... The message of adoption, adopting a special needs dog, um, and overcoming adversity, being born different, all the things that we were, you know, sharing Smiley for, and especially, te especially teaching the kids, you know, so I think he obviously, you know, can do the same. But first, he's got a lot of learning to do, but for such a little guy, and having no sight, he's doing pretty darn good. Wait. Good wait. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> good. And it's not just Sonny that is helping Smiley's legacy live on. His hometown will be honoring Smiley's memory. At the library, we did the reading program for so long, Pause for Stories through St. John Ambulance. Um, you know, and the kids sat and read to Smiley. And soon at that same library, a bronze statue of Smiley will sit greeting everyone with his smile. It depicts Smiley with his paw up, offering his paw to others. So uh, when it is done and it's in the Stouffville Library, you know, kids can sit down and, and read to him, just like they did in the library program that uh, we did for so many years. Well, the statue of Smiley should be up at the library at the beginning of the fall, and Sonny hopes to one day spread his joy there at the library as well. In Stouffville, Audra Brown, City News.